What is up, YouTube? I just got done finished watching Ring of Honor All Star All Star Extravaganza. Um, lately, Ring of Honor has been really lacking putting on good shows. I mean, great shows, because some of them have been pretty good. Um, now they didn't show Field of Honor. Um, that's going to be part of their TV tapings. Wasn't in demand pay per view, so it's been kind of lacking. But we have uh, All Star Extravaganza just finished up, so I'm going to be talking about that. Um, it was pretty solid. Um, I think the main event pretty much saved the card. Because if it wasn't for the main event, it probably would have been decent. But, let's get started. I'll be naming off the winners and losers and the card. So. Um, now, I won't go in order because I'm not too sure who went in order. Because I kind of missed like a match or two or anything. But, first match was... Uh, Donovan Dijak versus Bobby Fish. Uh, it was a decent match. Nothing too, you know, big, but it was for the TV title. Um, and Bobby Fish won. I don't. I didn't see Dijak winning because Bobby Fish won like a couple months ago. So I didn't see him losing. I don't see him losing the title for another couple months. So um, decent match, to say the least. Next match was, I believe it was, War Machine versus uh, The Cabinet versus Castle and um, Cole Cabana versus uh, Real Keith Lee and Shane Taylor. I'm not too sure those uh um, I'm not too sure who won because I, um, left to walk my dog, and I was just like, eh. So, I don't know who won, but I didn't really get to see the match at all, so. Um, that, I'm guessing the next match was Kamatachi versus Dragon, uh, Lee because I didn't see, I didn't see the match at all either. So I'm guessing it was after that because I took a while. So I didn't get to see that either. Um, after that, I'm guessing Hangman Page versus Kyle O'Reilly. It was pretty solid. Um, I don't really care too much about it on Page, but Kyle O'Reilly, he is definitely top talent. Can put on some really good matches. And uh, Kyle O'Reilly won that match. Next one was the six man the six man tag title tournament to see who wins um the new Ring of Honor trios titles it was uh JY ACH Kushida versus the Briscoe Bros and uh Yano and Kushida ACH and JY won pretty good match um you're really going to get a great match out of most of those guys. Yano, well, Yano's Yano. Um, next match was... Nido versus... Uh, Nido versus Jay Lethal. Pretty good match. I'd give, I'd give that the second best match of the night. Um... Now, I'm bummed that, you know, they pretty much turned on Jay Lethal. I thought that maybe Jay would be a big part of Los Singo Renables, but that wasn't the case. And he turned on them, and now, yeah. Um, Jay Lethal won, so I'd give that match, you know, three and a half stars. And then for the the co-main event was uh, 
Adam Cole versus uh, Michael Elgin. I don't like Michael Elgin. I don't know why. Um, I'm sure he's, you know, I just don't like him. Just the way he looks and just the way he wrestles. Like, he's solid to be a big man, but I just don't like him. Um, they put on a decent match. I don't know. If it wasn't, if Adam Cole was in that match, it probably wouldn't have been good, but, um, Adam Cole won, retained the title. And then the main event, the Ladder Wars 6. That was a good match. That was a real good match. That's That was a five-star match for me. Um, Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, The Addiction versus The Young Bucks versus Motor City Machine Guns. And Motor City was kind of absent for like the last 10 minutes of the match. They didn't really do much. Um, which kind of bummed me out because I kind of wanted them to win. But the addiction took some nasty bumps. Christopher Van Christopher Daniels, I found a new, new, how do you say, a new respect for him because he's like 40 and taking these nasty bumps. They set up, uh, I don't know if you guys watched it, but they set up to the guardrails and they put a guardrail on top of those two guardrails and he took it back first and that is just unbelievable he landed on the ladders tables um, busted open crimson mask all that stuff and it was just nasty and then they did uh, the the bucks did Meltzer driver on top of the ladder onto the table to Frankie Kazarian and end up the Bucks winning. Um, probably the best Ring of Honor match of the year, to be honest. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I thought it was a pretty solid card. Um, but definitely the main event saved that, saved the card. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've been lacking the wrestling. You know, reviews, because, I don't know, I just, sometimes I am really into wrestling, and then sometimes I just don't want to watch it, you know, you overdo it a little too much, so, but definitely going to try and pick it up more, um, I was going to do, like, Dragon Gate this past, uh, week, but didn't really, you know, um, didn't really get the chance to, didn't really want to. Um, but, if I see here, what's coming up, uh, Chikara, Chikara's plan is going to be on October 2nd, TNA Bound for Glory is on Sunday, but I don't watch TNA, and I don't know if they're going to be showing it or not, CZW, Tangled Web, 9, October 8th, and then we got No Mercy coming up on the 9th. It's so crazy to see No Mercy back after being gone for so long after, you know, the brand split. King of Pro Wrestling, New Japan, that's going to be so good. Finally get to see Kyle O'Reilly versus Shibata. And then the Kirikin Hall uh, Dragon Gate show on the 12th. And then some New Japan, so it's kind of up in the air, you know, it's going to be gaps in between wrestling shows so that's all for now youtube um i will see you sunday for my steelers kansas city chiefs reaction so that's all for now i will see you guys later